Morning, guys. I've got a little project here. Um, I spent a little bit of time last night working on uh, my tailgate concept, basically taking the um, 2010 tailgate that I've got and merging it with a 80s style uh, Dodge Ram tailgate. Um, I've got a little uh, video here for you guys showing you the uh, before uh, 80s style tailgate, the 2010 and up style tailgate, and two concepts that I came up with. Um, so, uh, you know, they're the wrong color vehicle, but I just used Google Images and found what I could find last night, and I found two uh, tailgates that would work, that were the correct perspective, and, uh, you know, they're similar in color. So, um, you know, uh, I think it would look a little bit sharper when... Um, the uh, the colors are proper but um you know let me know what you guys think of it um you know I, like i said this tailgate is it's got some damage to it so i don't really mind going ahead and doing the um the modification uh, but as well i kind of get you guys opinions of it and um i was thinking that um uh this upcoming saturday i'm gonna head up to uh, my buddy's junkyard um he um usually has quite a few Mopars. He's a big Mopar guy. So um, uh, so I figured I'd go up there. I need a tailgate for my 74 Trail Duster anyways. Um, basically, it's got um, uh, sort of like a striker plate and uh, plunger, sort of uh, like your um, your house would have, um, you know, the door strike and, and the latch mechanism. It's got that. Well, um they were prone to um, snapping off um, the strike plates that was because uh, they're cast and um, they're, there's, they had really bad tempering to them. So I think it was once they got welded on, the tempering kind of went to crap. So um, they became very brittle. So uh, both of the clips on mine have actually sheared off, but um, I would like to um, use the 80s style uh, tailgate, which uh, has more of your door strike on your uh, your vehicle today where it's a pin sticking out and then it's got a um, a latch that will actually kind of like hook over the pin so if this is your pin it would hook straight over it and you know, and gives it much more secure uh, of a fit and it's got movement side to side so that if you're a little bit off of alignment or if your uh, chassis flexes a little bit that your tailgate's not going to fall down. And that was another thing that would happen, would be, you know, if you had a little bit of XX flex in the body, your tailgate would fall down. So, um, you know, take a look at these images and uh, leave your comments. I, I would appreciate the, uh, you know, your opinions on this. So um, with all that said and done, uh, let me get to the uh, images here. All right, here I've got an image of a 80s style tailgate. Um, what I've done is I've showed you before of the 2010 tailgate. I'm oh, sorry that the wrong colors. It's just what I could find on Google real quick. Um, here's an image of my modification number one that I'm thinking. Uh, notice how it's all recessed. I uh, apologize for the colors. Uh, it's the two closest colors I could come up with. But um, notice how it's recessed in. So I'm kind of thinking maybe that. Or the other idea that I've tossed around in my head was just using the raised section like this right here. But um, what I might do is if I use the raised up section, I might push it so that it's above the body line. Um and when I say the body line, if you look at this image uh, coming up, um, you'll see where the the actual Dodge Ram and the 4x4 and the other emblem on the other side are. I'm thinking about keeping it above that. So why don't you guys look it over? Let me know what you think. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I like the idea of... Um, Going above that body seam um, where the 4x4 is, that little indentation right there, and using that and going above that with the Dodge Ram um, and actually having it bump outward, um, I think it might look cool. I'm going actually up to the junkyard on Saturday to uh, look at one and possibly pick it up. 
Uh, my buddy owns a yard not too far from here, so uh, think about heading up there and uh, you know seeing what kind of price we can come up with. And um, I need one anyways for another project, so um, I just need the guts out of it. So I don't really mind slicing and dicing one up. So uh, let me know, and um, I appreciate your comments. Thanks. Part two of the tailgate project will be coming up later tonight. Uh, so stay tuned. Appreciate the feedback. Thanks.